Kelsey and today I wanted to do a video to talk a little bit about a house that I think gets disparaged unfairly because some of its earlier line which is Etat Libre de Orange and I think some people are scared of this line and don't give it a fair go because of some of the fragrances in their line like Don't Get Me Wrong Baby and Secretions Magnifique which I have tried some of those earlier scents and I was really turned off. I just didn't like the combination of the scents but some of the things that have come out later in their line to me are uh, really nice fragrances and they're really worth trying and adding to your collection. I have a couple of them in my collection that I'm going to show you today and then um, I probably will be adding another one and I'll tell you what that is at the end. So the first one that I want to talk about that I don't have but I think is really really nice is um, the Tilda Swinton Like This, which is based upon um, Ginger, Pumpkin, and Immortelle are really the strong notes that come through on me. I have a couple of samples of this, of this and I wear every once in a while when I really get in the mood for Ginger. Um, I probably won't buy a full bottle of this, I just don't see myself wearing it that often because whenever I'm in the mood for a, a gourmand, I really like Je de Poe, so that's kind of my go-to fragrance there. Um, Bijou Romantique is the next one I'm going to talk about. I do have that one. I love the bottle. I actually bought this um, on one of my trips to uh, Scent Bar in Los Angeles. Um, this is a really beautiful plush oriental fragrance. I love it. has, for me, it's a lot about bergamot, lemon, ylang, ylang, which I have pronounced incorrectly all my life up until today when I looked it up on Merriam-Webster. And uh, the Benzoin and the Iris. This is a really lovely, lovely fragrance. It reminds me of the same school of like Shalimar. And I can't wear Shalimar. I've talked about that before because there's a really awful like ashy cigarette note that comes out on me no matter what. Oh my gosh, I've tried so many versions of that fragrance and it just never, never works for me. So Bijou Romantique, even though it doesn't smell exactly like Shalimar, it gives me that same wonderful plush feeling that I want and that I just can't wear Shalimar. So recommend trying that if that's a category of scents that you really like. Dangerous Complicity is one of the newer scents. I do have this in the small, they offered on Parfum One, they offered this small, they had this and they also offered um, Afternoon of a Fawn and these two 10 milliliter sizes so I snatched up one of those and it was only available for like two days or something that I saw it out there. Afternoon of a Fawn is not one of my favorite scents. Um, it has a very odd like it almost smells like soup to me. I can't explain why so I'm not going to do a detailed review because I don't really like to do go into why I don't like things. But Dangerous Complicity is beautiful. This is a wonderful silky floral scent. This has really good lasting power on me. Um, it's basically, I'm talking about like osmanthus, jasmine, those kinds of notes come through. There's definitely some cashmere in there. And one of the things that I found interesting about this scent when I was doing some research is that, that one of the notes it talked about was Lorinox. And I was like, what the heck is that? It sounds like something Dr. Seuss, right? So I found a great article that I'm going to link to if you're interested in learning about Lauren Ox. And they talked about it's a captive aromatic molecule, which was created by Maine in 2009. And it has woody, ambery, and leather facets. So what I don't get a lot of in Dangerous Complicity is leather. I was hoping for more of that, but I still think this is a really beautiful floral. So your experience may be different based upon, and I definitely recommend that. I'm going to save my favorite for last. I'm going to talk about that one last. Um, one of the other ones that I have added to my fragrance collection is Phil's De Dew. De and this is very unisex. I would recommend, you know, I think this would smell great on a guy or a girl. I've talked about this one before. This is terrific. It's a really aromatic. Um, for me, it's a lot about the, there's ginger, cardamom, coriander, shisho, shiso. And vetiver and that's definitely what I get it's a very bright and lime um, limey citrus and then there's this wonderful like rice um, note that comes in and it's salty and I love that I love salty fragrances so I recommend that one 
Very, very good. The last one I want to talk about is my favorite, and that is, of course, the one that's not easily available. And I just have a little decamp. This one is Josephine Baker, and this was apparently launched as a Sephora exclusive in France. I did find yesterday, I was looking for it online, and I did find it at Essential. I think that's a UK site. I've never ordered from them before, but I did find that they are able to ship to the US. So I will probably be adding that one to my collection as well. I've been obsessed with this lately. It's a really pretty grapefruit and it has like a champagne accord and it just kind of has this sweet gourmand brightness to it. And that's something that's really unusual for me. Like I haven't found that particular combination where it's this wonderful citrus, which I love citrus, but I get bored. But then there's this beautiful kind of bubbly effervescence in it, which I'm really, really attracted to. I love any kind of that, you know, bright bubbliness um, in a fragrance. And then, then it also has Lorinox in it, which again, recommend that you read on that and a beautiful jasmine note in this as well so um i've kind of been resampling all these the last few days so i could make sure and get you know here's my impressions here's how they come across on my skin so um definitely let me know your thoughts if you've tried any of these fragrances and if there's any other houses that people are interested in like what are the scents that i like from that range i love to talk about that and not just do like one fragrance because my attention span is short so I always like to know like what's a conversation we can have instead of me just talking about one scent the entire time but let me know if there's things you're interested in hearing about I love you know sharing what I know I've been doing this for years so I always love to have other people benefit from uh my own interest and in hobby over the last Oh my gosh, 12 years now? I don't know. It's been a long time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.